What's up, YouTube? What a day. I don't even know where to start. But, uh... I did a thing that I probably shouldn't have really done. But... Us car guys, we do things sometimes. And there's a couple cars that I've wanted. 55's one of them. You know, Mustangs I love, and I have two of them. There's one car that I've wanted for a long time. I had one, I sold it. And today we ventured, me and my buddies, and we went and picked it up. It's going to get a little dark. Just forgive me. What do you guys think it is? Little Ford Fairmont wagon. I already started doing some stuff. Change the steering wheel because I had it for my other car. Put a shift light. Just sat it in there. It isn't done. <clears throat> Not really a fan of the color. It's like a turquoise color. Got to fix the headlight buckets and the grill. As you can see, it's got a pretty spacious gap between the hood and it's a little crooked on this side one of the mounting a couple of the mounting points are broke on there but uh body's pretty clean needs some floor work strut towers it has been one long day this car was an hour and a half away <clears throat> From where I live, I guess, I guess the camera adjusts differently when you have it zoomed in. <coughs> it was an hour and a half away from where I live, and uh, we left here around, I guess, 12 o'clock, 11.30, maybe. We didn't get to this car probably till about 5.30. My buddy's truck broke down. And then we had to have my other friend come out and pick me in the trailer up. And he had to have his buddy come out and pick the truck up. The original truck that started to, to tow, uh, tow this car. We started the voyage in. So it was a mess. Big mess. It was not fun. Um, then we get to the car. I was supposed to buy the car without the wheels and ended up where, as you can see, the wheels are on it. And I don't know if you noticed, but one wheel has two sockets stuck inside of the wheel lug holes. So I got the wheels with the car for the same price that I originally was supposed to buy it for. And it runs, it drives. Um, it's a little late here. It's like 11, actually 12 o'clock in the morning right now. But, uh, it's got AC and stuff in it, which I'm probably going to have to go over, fix that, make that all work. Do the strut towers, fix the floors. I'm going to put a stick in it. So that's, that's going to be the plan with it. Um, just make it a fun daily driver, because that's something I would like to daily and be able to put my son in. We're going to change the exhaust on it. Actually, don't mind the garage. But I got long tubes for it already. <sighs> what a day. What a day. I was excited for this car all week. And it just, today, fought and fought and fought. It's been a rough, rough day for sure. So, nothing went as planned. Surprise. But we got the car. Everybody made it home safe. I guess that's the important part. So, there you guys have it. Just wanted to make a little video to show you guys the new addition to the family. 
and hopefully we get this fixed up make it nice make it drive nice ride nice just be a good little car and uh you know i got some stuff laying around i'll probably put on it to make it a little bit better but uh the goal is to be able to have a little 12 second ride and get 20 miles to the gallon so if i could do that i'll be be content you know so we'll see see what happens might try to drag it with what's in it after i get a throttle cable in it so right now it's got a piece of wire to pull the carburetor open <coughs> that was fun to get it on the trailer brakes need to be going over so i gotta f correct that stuff first but uh see what it does on the draggy with how it is and then hopefully i can find a stick pretty quick to shove in it and get it all together and have some fun have a nice little fun daily that makes me giddy so i'll do a nice sound system in there and make it nice so that's the goal with that kind of the 55 i want to cruise it as well because that's a cool show car you guys can't even see me that's a cool show car so the 55 will end up probably being the same as what i originally intended even though this kind of is filling that void because it is old it's going to be stick it's going to be cruiser and this one's got ac so who knows maybe i'll even let the wife drive the wagon with the kid and I'll drive the 55 when they're both all done and together or something like that. Figure it out one way or another. Let my dad drive one or something. Whatever. We'll play around with them and <clears throat> that's what it's about. If you got a couple of them, don't hurt to let somebody drive one of them, you know. <coughs> 55, that one probably better for me though because that's one's a little bit more expensive to replace. A wagon, I can find them for... You know, under 10000 a 55. So, but we'll see. See what we got going on when the time comes. We got a long road ahead of us with these cars. Right now, I think I'm content with calling it done with buying any more cars. As much as I love acquiring new vehicles, putting them on the list, which I have to add this to my list. I think this makes 50. I gotta look. I think this is number 50 for... Uh, how many cars I've had. And it's funny because I wanted the 50th car to have a 5.0 in it. I just was hoping it was going to be a newer 5.0. So I kind of want a Coyote car. But maybe this will have a Coyote in it. That's really my end goal. I would like to be able to Coyote swap this. and With the stick. All that. But uh, maybe I'll just beat on it for now. How it is. And save the money and put a Coyote in it. Who knows. But uh. I just like one car that has every all the amenities in it, you know. Heat, AC, I'm not worried about power steering, that doesn't bother me. I actually like manual steering and manual windows and stuff like that, but I just want a car that has <laughs> that's nice where I can go out on a hundred degree day and turn key, not have to worry about nothing, air on, it's sealed up nice, stuff doesn't rattle crazy in it. So this this build's gonna be a little bit different. With certain things, um, some stuff you just need to do, like maybe solid suspension in the rear. That's just stuff, you know. But I mean, it's it's whatever I acquire. I'm not gonna go dumping a ton of money into this car. I'll do stuff to make it how I want it to an extent. But I think we're gonna keep this one on the budget side. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't want to sell it, but if something happens where I need to, then it'll be, it's the last car acquired. It's probably going to be the first one to go kind of deal because there's other cars here that I'd rather keep over this one. But uh, got to see how the project starts and goes, and hopefully I can mosey along with it, get it where it's, it's sorted and good. <clears throat> there's already a couple things I want to focus on most of it is how it looks to be honest but uh under the hood bothers me whoever painted it did not care and there is overspray and paint over the booster and 
it's a mess under there. So when I do the strut towers, I'll probably end up painting the engine bay. And uh, I'd like to find a roller motor to put in it if it doesn't have one in it, which I'm thinking it probably doesn't. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what I come across, see what I can source, see what I can get, what I find, all that. And, you know, see how it goes. So this is the type of car that, uh, honestly, if I could find a cheap set of aluminum heads to toss on it, I just want the car to run decent. Uh, you know, I'm not worried about setting the world on fire. It doesn't have to be a nine-second car. It's not like the green car where it's a purpose-built piece. This is going to be something that you hop in with the family, get ice cream, and whatever it runs, it runs. It's cool, you know, as long as it wheelies. That's, that's all I want to do is be able to pop the wheels up from a street light. That's, that's, that's really it. Some people like to spin tires. I, I want to... I'd like to be able to hang the wheels through first gear. I'll be happy with that you know that's it so especially when the kid gets a little older you know that stuff's cool to do so at least it was fun when my dad did it so that's pretty much it it's going to sum this video up for now and uh i'll take you guys along that build as well there's a I just add a lot more to my plate but we got uh monte carlo out here working on for a customer Got a couple other things going on. Try to make, you know, pay the bills and bring in a little extra money. So that stuff's right now my focus. And then this car is going to be next. Because this is going to be something that probably replaces my Explorer to drive every day. 750 miles a week. So it's got to be dependable. It's got to be able to have air in it so I'm not sweating for an hour and a half up and back and you know I need it to be a good car so I gotta get it sorted get it right and uh, we'll do that and then back on the green car get that together and then back to the 55 so 55 is probably not gonna get done this year that's that's my assumption sorry for blinding you guys with this camera i'm trying to put my head in the way of the lights and i'm tired and holding the phone at a crappy position and everything so this video probably sucks but you guys got to see the new addition to the car to family new car new to me car and there's more fox body stuff coming so you guys fox body guys got stuff to look forward to and I get a couple of little things here and there, but I'll get them, put them on, make the car nice and fun, like I said, for the 40th time. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go in and relax. I think, I'm, I think I had enough for the day. So I'm actually ready for this day to be over. Today was my birthday, and... It was not a good day. It hasn't really been the best, best, uh, I guess you could say 24 hours now. Uh, got a little bit better toward the end when I got to see my family and spend some time with them for a little bit. But today was rough. Yesterday afternoon, I got some bad news. And uh, I guess that's life. You take the good with the bad, right? So... <sighs> but we're all alive and well, so that's what's important, the family, so. <clears throat> that being said, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time.